Hello fellow pilots, I'm Major Payne and this is next episode How to Play. Today we are going through the very new to the game BF109 K6. You can get this machine from the event which is currently in a game. Um, now, uh, let's compare this plane to other light fighter in a game and you can clearly see straight away that on the tier 7 of course, this plane has the best firepower and the worst maneuverability on its tier. So this thing is like BF109G just with a little bit less maneuverability and a lot of more firepower, more than double compared to BF109G, uh, which you have in a tech tree. Now, BF109G is my favorite on tier 7. You could see me in this plane doing boom and zoom tactic when I was doing the video about maneuvers available in a game. Um, so what else we have here? Very good altitude performance. So apparently, it's look like the biggest threat for this plane will be another BF-109 version G. He is as fast as we, he can fly as high as we, and he has more maneuverability in the same time. So uh, what we need to do if we see BF-109G, which is very rare because most of the players not playing this plane, it's too difficult to play, so you simply need to use your surprise attack, use your firepower to knock him out, so better to kill him in the first round because you may not have another chance basically so be careful with this particular plane uh, it's, it's a killer for you uh, with any other light fighter you actually do the same thing but you have a little bit more comfortable situation because if you're not gonna kill enemy in one pass you just simply not turn after him just keep straight use your speed use your uh, or go vertically use your a high altitude performance uh, where enemies cannot go after you uh, and then you can come back uh, for another attack so very simple tactic but you have to be strong not to let temptation to turn after some light fighter take over you like you know just this is very tempting to make a turn but you not do it at any time okay any circumstances you keep going straight if you're not gonna kill it, just leave it, you keep going, make a distance, then come back and finish the job in another next round. Someone asked me, is that gonna be an XP61 on tier 7? Uh, short answer is not. Uh, it's different style of gameplay. He doesn't have the maneuverability of P61, we don't have a tail gunner, and P61 doesn't have that firepower or speed on its tier. So there, there are differences, but that doesn't mean that this plane won't have big impact to the game. In the hands of good players, I'm pretty much sure that those planes will be very important on tier 7, will be very powerful, huge impact to the game. Now, and as you see here, it's one of my battles here, and uh, that's the good example of this firepower. Now, just take a look how this Tempest is going to disappear now. That's amazing, amazing firepower, and I'm pretty much sure that I'm gonna love this plane, and I will like this plane on tier 7. Now I'm being chased by uh, BF109Z, it's a heavy fighter, tier 7. So look how fast I can fly. Now I need to just dodge this attack, and outmaneuver this BF109Z, which is possible, because we are not maneuverable light fighter, but we are capable of outmaneuver a lot of heavy fighter. Um, and uh, some of the multi role fighters as well. So just you need a little bit of knowledge to know after who you can actually turn after and kill it. Of course, you may see me here uh, going after some more maneuverable uh, enemies, but uh, it's only if the enemy not pay attention to you you see that he's busy with something or you know that kind of stuff then you can turn after but if it's a player in a plane he's aware of you uh, then there is no option that you're gonna turn after that enemy and you're gonna win the engagement you, did you see that this is amazing like head-on attack with this multi roll and i took him out um in matter of fact actually i have a better firepower than some multi roll fighters like for example on tier 8 is J21RB and he has less firepower than this tier 7 light fighter so that says something very powerful oh, that's unfortunately we crash into our teammate
that BF109Z is doing big mistake to go in for a turn fight here solo or even attacking the ground of ground uh, targets which is not very smart okay repair unit it's gonna be destroyed probably yes so I'm not gonna use that we have to um, leave with HP we have and another kill you can go into the turn fight with bots or with players who not not gonna pay attention to you that's the only option another in any case uh, another case you just have to use your speed look how fast I'm flying use your boost use your extra cooldown that's the must have in equipment um, engine repair and extra cooldown which give you extra 10 seconds of boost this is very important for that plane and as you see p61 <laughs> who else would be <laughs> who else would kill me p61 so you see have this plane for free is okay but to pay for any tier 7 premium plane just to play six out of seven games on tier 8 it's not gonna happen it, it, it's not me I wouldn't buy any tier 7. If it's for free, I will do the missions. I get it, yeah, fine. But I wouldn't pay for it. Uh, just simply because any tier 7 is basically um, punished by the matchmaking. Um, you, most of you probably saw that, that uh, you mainly get the battles on tier 8. Specifically, if it's a busy day, lots of players in a game, then the matchmaking will simply punish you. And I'm not saying that this plane is incapable of doing good game on tier 8, because it is. It's very good plane, ha can have huge impact. You see, I'm using this cannons to destroy this uh, ground target just to have this sector. But yeah, yeah, anyway, just, you know, if you, if you want to spend your money, just think twice, because it's not worth it to play against uh, tier 8. But this particular plane is, I think it's going to be... Uh, really good and it's one of the few planes that can actually do something on tier 8 so it's, it's really really good but still it's just tier 7 I'm not playing too often on tier 7 but um, from where I can see it just it's really um, annoying to play against that kind of bomber which he is busy here so I'm using this opportunity because he's busy dropping bombs and thanks to this firepower just take a look RB17 can be knocked out but by light fighter of tier 7 this is amazing so in this regard this plane is great yes but uh, it's still gonna be tier 7 and if you have um, good opponents like let's say some equal skills players on enemy team so you'll be you're gonna be in disadvantage because uh, tier 7 is not gonna be able to do the same as p61 or other good tier 8 fighters now the square line is coming, so I'm trying to make myself ready to kill the most important opponents, would be that P80 or P61, that kind of stuff, which is very risky because P80 can easily outturn you, you're not gonna escape from P80, it's tier 8, so um, it's very risky, but I'm gonna use surprise attack and kill. I tried to go for this bomber, but he gets smart and he go on high altitude, so it's not worth it. So 14 seconds, I can't wait that long with this P80 because he simply, if he is gonna get aware of me, which he's now, but that's too late, but if I wait, he simply can outturn me. Now, this is great opportunity, P61, vulnerable position, there you go. And we quickly take over the airfield, which is very important on this uh, map. It's the uh, center of the map, repair center, all this stuff. <clears throat> so it's a tough game, and because it's on tier 8, so I can do a lot on tier 7, but on tier 8, you know, just I'm struggling. So this Tempest here is a bot, but if that would be a player, I wouldn't go into turn fight with this multi roll because he's more maneuverable than we are. And you know, just you can go after any bots or players who not pay attention, but some bots uh, may be difficult for you, specifically this light fighter, Japanese light fighter bots, they can outturn you and 
make a lot of damage to you, even kill you. So you have to be aware of that. Pretty good result so far. And it's all thanks to this firepower. The cannons are short range, but the punishment they give is just extraordinary. And uh, it's nothing like it on tier 7 in the light fighter. So just remember, what's your main tactic for this plane? Surprise, motherfucker! That's a good answer. And never turn, or you're gonna burn. Another surprise attack on BF109Z. So in, in this battle, I have no opportunity to show you this boom and zoom tactic. It's just being like surprise and surprise all the time. But that's the result of it. So even in tier seven match on uh, tier eight against up against uh, tier eight planes, you still can be. Uh, very successful and had huge impact to the game. And in the end of this video, I want to talk about the equipment for the plane. We can improve maneuverability, we can improve speed, we can improve uh, accuracy, but we cannot improve firepower. Well, that would be crazy, so that's fair enough. Uh, so my recommendation would be uh, to full speed build for this plane. Um, because th this is the main line of defense of your plane. If you go engage any light fighter and you cannot kill it in surprise attack, then you have to use your speed to escape for another run. So that's my recommendation, uh, full speed boost or almost full speed boost, just with, let's say, a one equipment for maneuverability. And uh, consumables as well. There is a extra cooldown for the engine. I would say that this is something which you must have in this plane. Uh, extra cooldown is very important, very useful, and that's it basically. Uh, never turn and keep surprising enemy, uh, use your firepower. It's very nice plane, uh, easy to play, maybe not easy to play, but uh, it's, it's really fun to play. Yeah, I hope you guys found it useful, and uh, please leave a like if you like it. Thanks for watching, and see you in the next one. Take care, guys.